Rhinebeck was abuzz late Thursday afternoon as it prepared for the arrival of former First Lady and 2016 Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton. The former Secretary of State and U.S. Senator was to appear at Oblong Books and Music to sign 1,000 copies of her new memoir, What Happened? Her Experiences as the Democratic Party's nominee for President of the United States. Outside the bookstore, security was tight as law enforcement and Secret Service performed safety sweeps in advance. We met with the Secret Service three times before today, and they are really thorough. So it's a kind of astounding. When you have somebody like this, it's somewhat of a political event also. I mean, I mean, we aren't, we aren't doing this. I would not do an event with Donald Trump, for example, uh, because I don't think the community would support it. That would give us a bad reputation. This, in, this enhances our reputation. At 6 p.m., Clinton schmoozed with supporters, shaking their hands as they picked up their copies of the book the New York Times has called a feminist manifesto, one it described as blackly funny and a score-setting jubilee. Encounters with Clinton even evoked tears from some and a sense of closure for others. She should not have lost. You know, it's just so unbelievable. When we watched those votes come in in the States, it was, we cried. I'm still crying. She still won the popular vote by three million votes, so obviously there were a lot of people in this country who loved her. And I think we're all, there's a lot of buyer's remorse on the people who reviled her. Meanwhile, the protesters had gathered outside, about a dozen or so. Earlier in the evening, LaGrange resident Dennis Maloney was out there engaging those who walked by. People have sex with all kinds of women and don't do anything about admitting it. Oh, and you mean like Al Franken? No, I don't mean Al Franken. He didn't have sex. He had oh, he did. No, you're disgusting. Well, no, you got You disgust me. Oh, I'm sorry. That when the Democratic Party stops trying to crucify the guy who got elected, maybe then we can settle it up. I'm not happy that she's not in jail. Okay, that's where she belongs. In Clinton's book released in September, she blames her electoral loss on things like sexism, James Comey and Bernie Sanders and his followers, as well as her labeling Trump supporters deplorables. In Rhinebeck, Paula Mitchell, HVNN.com.